How Contact Tracing Slows the Spread of COVID-19 Meet Fred. He has COVID-19, so we need to make sure he stays home and away from other people until he gets better. We also need to make sure anyone he was close to while he was contagious stays home and away from others. That way, we can stop it from spreading to anyone else. We do this through contact tracing. First, the health department's team of expert contact tracers call Fred. They make sure he knows to stay home for a couple of weeks and can get everything he needs while he's there. They ask him about his symptoms to figure out when he could have spread the virus to others. Then, they ask him about where he went during that time and who he was close to. Anyone he's been close to, within six feet for a total of 15 minutes or more, like a family member or a roommate, is called a close contact. Contact tracers then call Fred's close contacts to help make sure they know to stay home too. This way, if they do get COVID-19, they can also keep it from spreading to anyone else. A call from a contact tracer always comes from a live person. We never use anything that sounds like a robot or computer-generated voice, and we never ask for financial information. It's important to answer a call from the health department and to answer questions as completely as you can. Thanks, Fred, for answering the call and helping slow the spread of COVID-19. Learn more at healthvermont.gov slash COVID-19.